Hey guys, welcome back. In this lecture, I am going to discuss a very important and most frequently asked interview question that can be asked to any kind of Rails developer and this is what is the difference between save and save not in Rails. Okay, no matter whether you are a fresher, intermediate or an experienced developer, you must answer this question. So save and save not both are used to save the record into database and both works the same if no validation exists or all validation passed. Okay. The difference comes when validation for an active record model exists and any of the validation get failed. Okay. If validation failed, then using save will roll back the DB transaction and return the error messages for failed validations. But while using save not, or save with bank operator and validation failed then you will get the db transaction rollback as well just like the save method but rather than having the error messages for failed validations you will get an active record record invalid exception okay let me show you this through some example so here you can see that i am at a application in my system so when i click on the create new event i you will see a uh, form for creating a record for event model okay now let me show you the controller of event and you can see that in the create action i have used at rate event dot save okay so now if i submit the form without providing any detail okay and let me show you that what validations i have in my event model okay so i have these more validations in my event model validates name start date end date started end date event type meeting place and presence true so all these attribute must be present for creating an event successfully into the database okay so just save this okay and you can see in the create action as well that i used the save method and now if i submit an empty form i will see some error messages because my validation get failed and into the console you can see that the transaction has been rolled back okay now if i replace this save method by save not okay so replace this by save not and we are we still have the same validations in the event model and while using save not if you refresh the page and submit the form again okay so refresh the page open the form again and now submit this form okay so you can see we are getting the active record record invalid exception okay so let's get back to the form again okay refresh it and now if i comment out the validation or i remove all the validation from the model so let's come to the event model and comment all these validations so now both save and save not will work as same okay because now i do not have any validation so i can submit empty form for both save and save not let me submit an empty form now so here you can see that i still have the save not in the controller but i commented all the validations from the event model so let's submit this empty form okay and you will see that event has been created successfully an empty event has been created okay and here you can see the transition into the console now let's switch to the event model again sorry event controller again and remove this bank operator and just use the event.save now if you submit the empty form again you will see that a new empty e event has been created into the database okay so if there so you can say that if there are no validation exist into the active record model then save and save not will work same okay but if there are validation present and any of the validation get failed then save not will raise the active record record invalid exception okay let me show you the exception again so uncomment all the validations save this and now use the save note in the event and you will get the active record record invalid exception okay so submit this empty form okay and you will see the exception and you can verify it on console as well that transaction has been rolled back okay but then you will get a 422 unprocessable entity response okay and active record record invalid okay so just check this out at your end and practice as much as you can so that you can answer correctly while when it is asked from you okay and always try to prevent using save with bank operator okay because that will raise the exception and this will not good for the production applications okay so just try this and we will meet into another lecture with uh, another important and frequently asked question so till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe